Okay, so we got to change the tires on my motorcycle today. So I thought, why not do a little update? A little, where did this bike come from? What is the story behind it? While we changed the tires on my motorbike. Let's do that. So this is my bike. It's a Suzuki DR650. She's an iconic bike. Um, the only toxic trait about her is that she likes to go off every now and then on me. But that might also be my fault. She's a little too tall for me right now. I cannot flat foot. I can like only be on my tiptoes. But there is an option for us to lower it. But I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. I'm not sure if I want to lower it. That is my bike. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's convenient. It's not that thick though. So the bike doesn't have a center stand so we need to figure out a way to lift it up while we do the work so we came up with our own little system we'll see if it works yeah because we don't have one of those like stools we're just gonna add wood on top of wood and concrete so today we're actually attempting to change the tires change the brake pads and if time permits also do an oil change so We haven't even started and we already decided to get food. Changing the tire. <laughs> Step one. We get food. <laughs> are the tools from the bike we should have everything here i can't believe all that stuff came out of that bag we're gonna start by unscrewing a bunch of stuff Do it is always the worst. You gotta figure it Filming. out. Filming. Oh yeah. <laughs> Documenting. Yeah. It's still and the tube. Really? Yeah. I bought this bike a couple of months ago. I got this bike on the same day that I passed my motorcycle learning test. So here we have a balance test before you get your full motorcycle license. So the day I got my learners and I finished my balance test is the day I got my motorbike. Aldo decided to surprise me with it after I finished work. So they tried to hide it behind the car but 
I actually saw that they were waiting for me outside the window with the bike well before they tried to surprise me so that was kind of funny but it was it was really cute so yeah they drove about two hours or no around an hour and a half uh to go get my bike the reason why we bought another bike is actually there are a couple of reasons one i wanted to have my own experience on the bike uh, and two is because we were getting our learner's license on a learner's license you can't really um, ride two up so you can't have a passenger so we decided well we're going to ride with two bikes anyway so we might as well get a second bike now and we've been looking for a dr650 for a while now and there was one that came up and it was a really good price so we bought it that is kind of how this bike came to be you must have seen that we only had the Himalayan so far. So if you were wondering where the second bike came from, what is the story? That is the story. Okay, so we have one tire down. For a while there, the, the bead was just not sitting properly. So as we were filling it with air, there were certain spots that were, how do I explain this? Like they were overfilled and like they were popping out a little bit and there were other spots where the bead was still inside the rim. So we decided to try again and again. We tried a couple of times, it didn't work. Then finally, we used soap. Oh my god, it's echoing like crazy here. Anyway, finally we use soap. So that's the trick. If it's not working for you, use soap. Like just coated it with a lot of soap water and then filled it up again and it just it just sat in place. We're onto the brake pads now and once we finish that we'll move on to the second tire. So I had to get the C-clamp out to push the piston in because of how much these pads were worn out, right? So the piston was set up to this thickness. Now that we have a brand new pad, but the piston needs to be pushed out. So that's what I'm doing. What <laughs> I don't know. Everybody is too tired, especially this guy. So we're gonna call it a day because I don't think we have it in us to do another tire. The, the, the first tire took us so long. We're gonna tackle it another day. Now the reason why we chose this bike is because we were looking for a lighter bike and so we were looking around and we saw that this bike was lighter. It's not 
too light but it's at least a little bit more friendlier off-road then the other reason why we thought that when we go on longer adventures uh, we might need some a vehicle that has uh, parts that are readily available and service that's ready, readily available and information that's readily available I suppose because with this bike nothing has changed in I don't know like since they manufactured it so since you were born since I was born apparently nothing on this bike has changed so there's a wealth of information out there we just felt like you know having that as a backup would be a really good idea so we decided to buy this bike that's pretty much the reasoning so I got this bike and now Aldo's also tempted to switch to a DR650 and it only makes sense for us both to have the same bike so that you know parts and all of that when we go out and you know we're stuck on the road so it just it just makes more sense so he really has been eyeing my bike but I don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes but yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching that's it thanks bye the reason why we chose this bike is Give me a second, please.